hello guys welcome back to my channel so in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to color a wig so the first process is to bleach the wig i would say you should watch this tutorial from the beginning to the end because it is packed with so much information any little mistake can damage your hair so let's get right into this tutorial So this is the second developer I used and it worked. So the difference is that the hair did not lighten up as fast as the first one I used. If you don't know what a developer is, a developer can also be called hydrogen peroxide. So what the, a developer does is the lightens of the hair, like it activates the bleach you add to it. So the strength of the developer determines on how lighting up you want your hair to be there's six volume developer there's 10 there's 20 there's 30 there's 40 and there's 50. you also have to be careful while using these chemicals because it is hot whenever you mix them together and apply on your hair on the wig you want to bleach it becomes hot do you get me and it has a strong smell after you mix the developer and the bleach together so one thing i want to say is if you want to work on your hair like if you want to bleach your wig make sure you test some strands of hair before you go heavy with that developer that's if you want to use 30 or 40 volume or 50 volume developer because it will lighten up fast especially when you use foil to cover it to speed the process and also some hairs don't withstand the strength of a strong developer your hair could fry and melt and you just wonder where you went wrong you'll be thinking probably you got a fake developer or you didn't do it right just make sure you test some strands of hairs before you go heavy on the whole hair in the midst of my explanation you saw how i mixed the developer and the bleaching powder together I didn't do any measurement i just put it in my mixing bowl then added my developer as well what i just made sure was to mix it properly to be like a paste it wasn't too thick and it wasn't too runny it's kind of like in between i forgot to mention earlier if you cannot withstand the strong smell of the developer and the bleaching powder make sure you wear nose marks if possible you can also wear you can also double your hand glove because at some point the bleaching powder penetrated i don't even know how it happened like it went into my fingernails while i had gloves on and trust me the pain was crazy so please avoid this so if you can double up the glove on each hand please do so so because this process it is time consuming I'm going to make another video on how to bleach a wig faster most times i do that for a longer wigs like wigs with long length so basically i just apply the mixture onto the hair so the thing is where you apply the bleach on first is where it's going to lighten up first but i didn't really worry much about that because i want everything to be one color like i want everything to lighten up so what i just did was to was to apply enough bleach on each section part that was what i did so i applied enough and massage thoroughly so the mixture which is the developer and the bleaching powder will swell a little in the mixing bowl don't panic what you just do is to use your mixing brush to mix it again like i am doing at the moment so that's what you just do please and please after mixing your bleaching powder and developer don't cover it too because it will swell up and 
it won't be nice okay this is me mixing another one so i don't mix a lot because i want to avoid it from swelling and i also want to avoid it from wasting if you have watched to this point please subscribe to my channel pause this video right now subscribe like this video also engage in the comment section ask me any question i will respond to any question let's not bore each other in this tutorial so i am skipping to the closure area this is what she's looking like it has lifted and some parts are still lifting also if you want it to lift more than this you can let the mixture stay on the hair for a longer time but sometimes it can damage your hair because it will make the hair very dry it's going to suck out all the moisture from the hair so which brings me to the part two of this video which is the coloring process so you can correct that in the coloring process but sometimes some mistake can be corrected stay tuned so for the closure area i basically section the closure area in smaller section because i want to because i want the bleach to get to the root of the hair i'm avoiding the bleach from touching the lace so this is where the got to be spray you applied earlier at the beginning of the tutorial becomes useful so if you know you don't want to bleach your knot apply your got to be spray just like i mentioned earlier in the beginning of the video so um the, some of the bleach touched the lace so i was now in a hurry to quickly wash off the hair because i didn't want the closure lace to bleach much because i i didn't have intention of bleaching it so i went on to wash it off so because of that the closure area didn't lift as much as the rest of the hair which is totally fine the color that came out was okay like the level it lightened up to was still okay it will still get the job done also watch how i am washing out the bleach from the hair to avoid it from tangling this is also the pattern i use in washing my wigs any wig i want to revamp this is the pattern i use in washing them so after washing off the bleach completely from the hair i'm going to go in with a purple shampoo and what the purple shampoo does is it takes away brightness of unwanted colors from the blonde wig sometimes when you when you bleach a hair sometimes they come out as orange like some of the strands has like orangey tone yellow yellowish tone and all that stuff so to take away all of that you have to use your purple shampoo and also this purple shampoo can also stain your blonde wig just make sure you don't leave it on your hair for a minute you can leave it for a few seconds then you wash off on to the next one i am going to be using tresemme smooth and silky conditioner this conditioner is good it does everything that's written on it you can google it and check what's written on the container so i applied enough conditioner into the hair i massage it thoroughly into the hair to get into everything to the weft and all then i allow it sit for like five minutes after five minutes i used my detangling brush to detangle to detangle and this is what we have the hair is looking silky already but we're not done yet so this is a new product i want to try so i decided to try it on the hair i bleached to see if it also do what it says it does so same thing i did for the conditioner was what i did on this one as well that was after rinsing out the conditioner i applied this air max on the hair thoroughly then i also detangled as well at every process you have to detangle okay and you have to be careful while detangling because the hair is in a fragile state